Hello everybody, welcome to another game of Undead Over Explained, down 30 TV, going to get the assistant coach. Um, unfortunately there's no team mascot in this, which is, uh, which is quite a good little thing. Win the toss, receive. He's got an ogre, how unfair is that? He's got a strength 5 mighty blow player, um, pretty disappointing, and a couple of block players compared to three guards. And a sneaky hit. I can actually foul this game because he's not uh he's not dwarves and a shadowing zombie. <laughs> An amazing shadow Is they, have they got boobs? <laughs> they look uh <laughs> look a bit <laughs> looks a bit like a Slanesh team if you resume down. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah. I can the mouse. I can only play with the auto clicker. I can literally only play with an auto clicker. It's, I would not want to play without that. Okay, so this is quite good because I can bit a beast man and get the knockdown and remove him. And can foul as well. Can play all the ghouls. Yeah, I would only say play Blood Ball 3 with a uh, mouse with an auto clicker so on, on the extra button so you can uh, do things. Oh, I need three dice, don't I? Okay, we're a bit exposed. I guess what we can do is just move in the zombies, right? The zombies move in for the three days. So still covering against a blitz a little bit. Yeah, the, the pressing space is is rubbish. It doesn't it doesn't work very well. Oh, under scrutiny. Who who's under scrutiny? He won it. I'm under scrutiny, so I can't even foul with my sticky kit. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Just what I needed. Yeah, the, the the pressing space to confirm is rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Hate it. wasn't great, was it? Because now a push keeps me on. I was just zoned out there, honestly. Okay, got the power. Anyway. Yeah, I should have. Uh, I should have pushed this guy to here, so that the uh, zombie could go in there, and then I could have blitzed him directly back. But never mind. Go like here. No need to go right back. Not going to reroll this. Was it K for the kickoff results? Ah, it says it's rolled by him. That's good. Yeah, that, that under scrutiny is annoying, isn't it? Pretty annoying when you have a sneaky git 
Gal. Thank you, Christopher B. Perfect. Maybe you could have like a, a white outline or whatever, but it's good enough in it. Tanks. Him going here, well, first of all, he can't go there because he'll, <laughs> he'll uh, right. you need to just stop the breakthrough is the most important thing, I guess. And obviously three dice with mighty blow. Injured, good. Mighty blow hit pays off. He's got no breakthrough to put pressure on. So don't need to pick it up. I mean, don't need to re-roll the pick up. Obviously, would still like to pick it up. And fail again. <laughs> the dimmy show. But he can't get in behind, can he? At least, like, this is a good place to stay because, like, he can't, you know, get around better than better than running way back. And it's better than uh, staying way forward with, like, a couple of guys next to the ball. Having your team in this this kind of area, this is kind of like the danger zone, probably like this. Kind of like four or five squares behind the LOS. So they're, they're occupying that space quite well. I can always just chaos, but still. Could do something, couldn't he? But uh, not here. Might have to re-roll the pickup next turn because it's getting a bit, a bit annoying. Maybe I shouldn't have fouled because I uh, followed because he gets he gives him the two D. Whereas if I hadn't followed. It would have been a bit tricky for to get the 2D, wouldn't it? He would have probably just based that guy the warrior, so probably would have got it. Oh, he runs back, that's wonderful. That's your hands rubbish. Oh. Okay, regen work. 
The problem with sure hands is it's like just not very good. <laughs> there you go. Oh wow, he's fouling because he's the one with. Oh my god, a two assist foul. Okay, regen works. He's sent off, and I can surf his warrior. Okay. Oh my god, I put him in the wrong square! I'm the worst! Fuck it. If he kills my ghoul, he kills my ghoul. <laughs> Fuck it. Ball picked up. Never in doubt. Guess the right square. Well done, Jim. Oh my god, the two assist foul. Kazing him was an absolute disaster. He didn't play his ogre, what? He just didn't feel the ogre. <laughs> he didn't feel him, right? He just he just didn't feel him. <laughs> he must have just bought him and like had a safe setup without him. Incredible. Incredible. Might not even surf the ghoul here, right? It's uphill. You can't make it not an uphill surf. I can make it a 1D if he runs all the way around, but then I surf him as well. Anyway, if he surfs me, I surf him anyway. So, Yeah, my, my ghoul's not getting surfed. Yeah, 140 TV. That was a bit of a mistake, wasn't it? Man, I was so mad about that mummy dying. But yeah, the regen makes it okay. And... Uh, you know, actually, the scent off also has helped, didn't it? If he had two blitzers here, I'd be in trouble, but luckily he doesn't. <laughs> luckily, he only has the one blitz, so should be all right. Oh, he can 1D surf. Oh my god, I didn't even think... But then, I mean, I surf in this one as well, don't I? And his warrior. Oh my god. Everybody's surfed by doing this. I guess he can dodge away with the warrior afterwards. But where does he go? His warrior has to get surfed here, doesn't he? I guess he fails the dodge, and that's how he doesn't get surfed. Unless I surf his body. I could surf his body. He could skull as well. No, he gets the pal.
Oh, shut up. Oh, shadowing! Shadowing zombie! Let's go! Ah, oh, never lucky. How on earth did he do that? Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, I can surf the... So, if I block him and pow him, then he blitzes him to there, and then he blocks him and he still gets surfed, right? So... This guy can block. I blitz him, I block him, and then I surf him. It's too risky. I think I think I just surf this guy. He can get to where the zombie is. Okay. Flip me. Does he stand up? I mean, I should have made this decision ages ago. So there you go. There's an over-explained bit. I should have made this decision instantly. Uh, first decision of the turn should have been thinking, do I stand this guy up? And if the answer is yes, he should have gone up straight away. And honestly, he's occupying a strength four player. So he should have, he should have activated first ages ago. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Christopher B. What a legend. Oh, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Spare, doesn't it? Thanks very much, Christopher B. Wonderful. A lovely official ladder thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's handy to have that sort of stuff, isn't it? Like it was a good the NAF ladder one and the, the BBSL one and stuff. Good to have those kind of assets for people to uh, use. Really, Cyanide should have like a uh, asset pack for streamers, would be ideal. Okay, so this guy didn't even get killed, which was, was wonderful. Turn five, got plenty of time. I'm thinking, plow through this uh, beast man. Ball is still safe, even on a one in nine or a one in eighty-one. Yeah, I don't know where the ball's going. Where is the ball going? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, one, two, three, four. Uh, he, he can be a cage corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a little bit short. Okay, I'm, I mean, I'm definitely good. Team. He can go there, and he can go there. I could go one back. Oh, I'm just getting served now. <laughs> oh, it made sense at the time. I only really need the three, the three points, don't I? Oh God! Oh no! He needed to be there. Oh, flip me! I balls it up. Oh my God! I balls it up. GFI there, I mean that's really good. And then actually I can uh I can just go there as well. And then it's just this one GFI. <laughs> Phew. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It, it it does take him two pieces to surf the white, which is really too many. So, yeah. I'd, I'd rather he didn't surf the white, though, right? Like, I, I could have just done him last and not got surfed. Like, I think the offense is won anyway, right? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I never. I always just. I. I always do use he by default when referring to the opponent. That's true. Movies I should use they to be. Uh, to be correct, isn't it? I do tend to just say he. Naf. The Naf Cup is just a straight knockout. Hello, Torek. Hello, Chugs. with guard. Ah, uh, the ghoul there, which is not a block. Um, so, the block isn't a defensive thing, right, Vala? Um, he, he hasn't got block, this this beastman, right? So he's, if he makes a block, he's 55% to knock over a block player. Uh, like, sorry, like if, it, if he makes a two dice block, he's 55% to knock over a block player and not turn over. Where he's only 30% to knock over a dodge player and not turn over. So, like, because it's not a defensive skill, right? If he gets the both down, he knocks himself over. It's just not a defensive skill. There's, like, three results, isn't there? There's the both down, the pow, and the stumbles. So, like, he can't knock me over on a both down anyway, right? So, um... And then this guard here meant that even if he ran around, he couldn't get two dice at all because I had the, I had the guard covering, like, he couldn't hit from here. Or here and stuff like it, so the the guard there is better. It was a bit sloppy, yes, Dwyer. It was a little bit slo sloppy. Like it wasn't that on, was it? He had to dodge and one d, uh, and like he's he's. It wasn't great. I'll be honest. It wasn't great. I didn't really count the squares first, um, but that was why I would want him hit if it was a choice. But yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't great. But I mean, it's all there anyway now, isn't it? So that's okay. But yeah, that wasn't great. It wasn't great. It's not over because this could be one and eighty-one. I mean, I could blitz with the block, or just block with the block guy. I can just block with the block guy. Here we go. I'll just block with the block guy. And then 
blitz with the bot guy. So make these 1 in 1296s instead of 1 in 81s. So yeah, it was a bit sloppy. I, I, I didn't really like, count out all of the movements and uh, where the cage was going to be, right? So that was my fault. It's just one GFI, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's the like that's the thing, right? It, against rookie players, like this is one of the things that makes obviously Amazon so good and Google so good. Like that one there, like you just like they're not going to pick the ball. Okay, this guy's got block, but like uh, it's like it's why, why like halflings are a pretty rough matchup for chaos. Um, you know, even though like halflings are a bit rubbish, they just can't get you. They can't. They just can't knock you over because they can't get you on the board downs. So it makes a huge difference having. Having block to deal with dodgy things. Okay, I'll trap him in between the two gowls. That seems good. Nice. Mighty blow to Kazdim, probably. Yep. <laughs> Never mind. It's just a GFI to punch the blocker. I've only got one turn left. So. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. He can, um... He can 4 plus 3 plus hit me. It's five three to base. Okay. Now he's got a six plus four plus three plus to base. Six four three two two to base. And I still get to just hit him as well. No, I mean, it's all right. It is, it is, it is the correct thing to say, isn't it, Kill? I mean, the thing is, you know, obviously, having played Blood Bowl in my life before, I'm, I am aware that you're ninety nine percent chance to be correct if you say he is the opponent. But yes, in twenty twenty four, you should be saying they. Yep, play it safe. I could have uphilled the mummy, couldn't he, to have based the ball, actually. So I probably should have done another GFI. I should have done another GFI without shadowing zombie. But he's not basing the ball. And he is getting three dice by mighty blow. So that's nice. No, he's not. Well, his mate is. Oh, I've got, I've got shadowing. Yes! I got a free assist! <laughs> yes, the old shadowing zombie. Oh, <laughs> we 
Howdy. Injured. Okay, mummy, mummy, good. Mummy, good. So now with the regen off his foul and the send off from his foul, this is starting to look pretty good, isn't it? The bad thing is, of course, after reducing his player numbers, he's going to actually have to field his ogre. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I've killed so many players. He has to field his best player. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, this needs to be eleven players, doesn't it? line. I don't know why they weren't. That was the Hobgoblin team's fluff there. In the old rules. The, uh, the Hobgoblins were so stupid they like missed. They missed games so they had to <laughs> they, they had to like uh, roll the dice to see if he showed up. <laughs> Too stupid. Hello, oh, Phineas Knob. Oh my god, yeah, three removals is great, isn't it? One was his own doing, but still. Three, six, eight players, maybe nine. Nine's pretty good. I guess I should have got a foul. No, I couldn't have. I was under, I was under, uh, under scrutiny. I couldn't have got a foul. In. I'm glad I remembered <laughs> to not foul. <laughs> Okay, 1 0 up. Under scrutiny is over. One or two players up. Well, maybe not. He might get removals now. But it should be okay. Might be three players up, right? Like this warrior. This warrior KO roll is huge. Being a warrior down and only eight players would be massive. Stay fantastic. Oh, maybe I should play Chaos all the time. The Stay Fantastic's brilliant, isn't it? Okay, so still on 11 at least. Huge 50-50 on the, on the warrior. He makes it. What a dirt bag. Right, shadowing zombie. <laughs> shadowing zombie on the LOS. Let's go. Yeah, I think just protecting the cools is... I could like go, you know, some kind of offset, but there's just no need, is there? Like, there's no need to expose the card, right? Leave it like this. So it is nine versus eleven. I mean, that's still good. Nine versus eleven is still good. 
Oh, yeah, best for goal. It has been a long time, hasn't it? The problem is, it's just like naming players is just like it's some. I did it all the time for Blood Bowl too, didn't I? And like you know, named named after subs and named after the redemptions and stuff. But then after a point, after I fell out of love with the game, <laughs> it was just make a team, play games, and never care about them much. Maybe I can start. Maybe I can start naming them again. I have been happy for three weeks now. That's uh, uncharted territory for over a year. I should rename that channel. Yes. Okay. Not dead, not dead. Oh my god, reroll gone. No, it's a block. Shit. Of course he has some skills. I just thought he was like a chaos team, so he didn't have any block. <laughs> Please don't kill me. He doesn't have the foul either. Oh my god, I'm foul warrior. How about blitz him from there, into there, out to there? Maybe don't. No, I've got to foul. I've got a sneaky kit. I've got to foul. <laughs> Maybe a bit with mighty blow rather than a block of mighty blow is the question, isn't it? Oh, I could double. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do everything. Two players in. Blitz there. Chain him onto there. Now I guess I could push him down to there. Is this three dice? Yes it is. Is 
in 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 and very much in nice not save the send off though sneaky git well done sneaky git alright he actually gets a few hits there sadly because of the uh not getting the knockdown, but if I got the knockdown, I'd got just got an extra mighty blow hit, which is pretty good. But that gave us the, the angle for the gang foul, and the three D mighty blow hit on a warrior was pretty good, wasn't it? And the positional loss is actually minimal. Because you're so far back, and my gals are so fast. And you can't disconnect from one of the mummies. Maybe he's trying to hand off now. Maybe he's kind of realising that, oh, actually, if I hand off, I might be able to get forward and get a touchdown at all. I think he's probably not going to score if I just stop playing properly. But I think it was worth a massive gang foul. <laughs> I think the massive gang foul was worth not playing properly for one turn. Problem is he can knock over both my blockers, I guess. But it is good that he hasn't got uh, he hasn't got the ball on block. So if I can free the blockers, it'll be quite good. Oh, is he going to chain the guard? Is he going to chain my mummy away? Very nice. Very nice move. Chains the mummy away. Lovely. I just need him to not power one of these two mites, I think. It's the full power. I just block anyway. Turns out the loss of position <laughs> did matter. <laughs> it was a fun foul though, wasn't it? No, he just pushed the mummy back. That was not so good. Oh no, he can he can chain it away again <laughs> if he gets the power, which he does. He doesn't get a pow here though, it's uh, pretty bad for him. Ooh, he doesn't. Very interesting. Unfortunately, because he powered everything, I don't get anything really good, do I? He can block him. And that'll give me the guard up to there. Which will give me the 1D, but then there's... Uh, two ghouls could come through, maybe. Oh, this guard is good, isn't it? This guard is... Oh, what a square. What a square for that guard. Oh. Oh. So this guard into here. Didn't even need, no, he yeah, didn't need the guard. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's 
not great, is it, actually? It's actually not great at all. Okay, he just blitzes. To assist foul him. Don't need to. Oh, he uh, he uploaded it. Fair enough. Right. Anything but a skull is okay. Yeah, that's fine. Knew that was out me. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's worth it with. Uh, like, I know I've got sneaky git, but even then, I think this square is better because I don't get hit by it if I don't break AV, right? Like, you could blitz the sneaky git with him if I if I don't break AV. So, um, I think I'd rather be in this square so that I'm not next to the ogre um, to get hit by. He might try and switch to the other side, but he hasn't really got a lot on the other side either, so... He's in a bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle! But yeah, like, it's it, it, it would have been fine to foul the ogre, like, fine, you've you got, you got sneaky git, right? You, you really probably should be fouling every single turn with sneaky git. Like, but I, this is the square I wanted him, so... I, I would have fouled him. I think it would have been... Worth losing the position to foul him with two assists and armor rate. Like, there's more chance of the loss in positioning paying off. Like, so, so if it doesn't cost you position, you should foul every turn. And then you still want more assists because you still want the chance of you getting sent off for a stun, right? Like, you could double three. So, you can still get sent off for a stun. So, you want, you want this chance of you breaking AV to still be good, don't you? Still want like it's more payoff. Like it's still costing you position to make the foul, so you want more chance of that positional cost to pay off. There, the truth was in there somewhere. <laughs> it's like the opposite of the X Files. The truth is in there, but I don't really know where. But that is it. Every foul is positional cost. So even though the number of assists don't basically don't change the odds of you getting sent off with sneaky gate. There is still a positional cost in making the foul. So you want the positional cost of the foul to be made up by the chance of a removal. Does that make sense? I think it does. And uh, not just art, it's everyone kill, yeah. It, it's it's more common with necro, but yeah, you you put like it's my anti frenzy setup, it's on the it's on my setup, it's on my setup uh, guides. It's actually a bit harder with Undead, right? Because you have so many ghouls. Um, oh. Okay, I don't know where the fucking setups are. Have I not pinned the cell guard? What? 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 Oh, yeah, I have. There it is. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. There you go. There's the cell. So it's the anti frenzy cell on there. It's pretty good for most teams, to be honest. Not not just anti frenzy, just in general. You can go two back. It's pretty good. If you've got, like, strong players that can avoid. Uh, Giving up hits, it's pretty good to use. Uh, that's an annoying 1D power. Instant 1D.
Oh. Instant and full. Okay, yeah, he had to reroll actually, because he was in he was in big danger of getting his ball sacked. So the blitz has to come this side to blunt the attack. Too deep block here. Well, isn't that fucking annoying? Oh, the zombie could uh, just take the hit off the ogre, but I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> okay, so the guard's free. Didn't blunt his attack much. <laughs> that was a terrible turn. Double one the foul. Pushed. Pushed. <laughs> Stood up to get punched. Yeah, not a great turn. But like at least he's far back so I didn't have to do anything really. And if he doesn't get some power, like if some of his blocks aren't pals, then uh it starts to shift away from him, but they're so far all pals, of course. Back to him, back to pals. <laughs> that is the way Blood Ball is. But I do have this reserve of three ghouls, don't I? Which is pretty good. Gets the full pow. Like a dodge player is a pretty good marker of a strength four, right? Because a strength four blockless, because he's still only 30% to get you. So it is a pretty good marker. The ghouls are pretty good markers for warriors. Yeah, I thought he'd blitz him. And he gets the push, but he could tag him with the uh, ogre. Oh, he doesn't even need to just follow him. Jesus, it was four. Jesus. Oh, he's tried to dodge. He's only got one reroll left. He's failed and he stunned himself. Well, that's okay, isn't it?
I feel like I want to win the fight in the middle, right? I can blitz the ogre and then I can block him and I can actually get on top of him a bit. A dodgeless dodge! Goals. Oh, beautiful. He can go on round there, that's good, isn't it? The untagged ogre is a bit of a problem because he can blitz the mummy. I guess I can uh, move in the uh, gals. Go. That's that's good, isn't it? You know, I didn't. I mean, I could have just left them in reserve, I guess. But this puts him in a in a lot of a pickle, right? He can't move. He's only got a few players with the two stuns. He's got very few players, and they can't move very well at all. So. A dodgeless dodge. No, a blockless dodge. Like his best play was probably a 1D potato from this warrior. Yeah, it's a blockless dodge though. Right, that's the thing. It, I mean, a dodgeless dodge is, is nothing to write home about. It's the, blockers, it's the blockless dodges that get you. <laughs> Don't even have the sound effects anymore. A blockless dodge. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay, so he's done that. Yeah, I really like the SFX. I mean, he's, he's managed to deal with the ghouls, right? He's tagged one and he's blitzed the other one down, but he still has the problem with his ball and the rest of his team being in a bit of a pickle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't hit him though, so it's probably not worth worrying about. Um, okay, zombie there. That's that's the square for that zombie, isn't it? Wonderful. 
he just gets up and gets in the way. This one gets blitzed so that the ball carrier uh, gets under threat. This is blockless, but it's mighty blow. I probably should just block with, with block. So this blockless block is still pretty good, and it's also into another blockless block. And now puts guard on there to protect the ghoul. I think now the best blockless block is this one. Crikey. Come around. Geophyte to base him. It's pretty good, isn't it? But then not really, because I'm just going to get... Well, he's going to blitz me, isn't he, if I base him. So maybe I just go there. man unattended <laughs> it's never gonna hurt him it's never gonna hurt him like I could have got more on the warrior but then I, that would just let that beast man like stand up right and then he could get a long bomb to him so that doesn't seem a good idea Four, five players down, three standing. He is in a mega pickle. Good to get all the chain blocks on this guy, isn't it? Doesn't pow. Good. Still very much in a pickle. This, is this the time? I think it might be. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's GFI. But instead of a GFI, I could punch the warrior first. One, two, three. Oh, that's where I wanted to push him to. Fuck. So now I need to power him. That's annoying, isn't it? Did not power him. Oh no, it didn't matter. Okay, so I do get to punch him forward. Push him on the 
side. Put these in a square. Oh, I could have moved him down first. Now it's better to be here, isn't it? Good job I've got sneaky gear, otherwise I would have like been sent off three times and done absolutely nothing to this beast man. <laughs> uh, the best orc starting roster is four blitzers, four biggins, a goblin, two linemen, and three rerolls. And then if it's a ladder, you can sack the goblin before your first game and get a journeyman. And if it's anywhere else, you can sack the goblin after the first game and get a lineman. Well, that was disappointing, wasn't it? One dice full, pal. <laughs> Dodge away. Full pow. Of course it was. But he's got to roll a lot of dice to get this save. Yeah, sneaky gear is pretty good. There you go. Kill with the answer. Yeah. No, Dimmy. Yours was in. Oh my god! Shadowing zombie. No! Never lucky. was a good dodge that was definitely correct um, what I want to do is blitz without block so I can push him into follow-up hits I think that is best one two three four five six yeah yeah that has to be best because it's just a follow-up in so many blocks Hmm, could I have done a safe move first? Maybe. Okay, instant power. Haha, oh, catch it as well. Beautiful, beautiful calls. Keep shadowing on him <laughs> and KO him. I mean, that's the best way to shadow things, isn't it? Good. 
should have moved him first, no reason not to. Wait, can he get me? No, he can't. So, oh no, because then he can hit my girl. I'd rather not hit my girl. It is better to hit than be. I don't want him to hit my girl. Nah, I don't think it is. I like the three rerolls, to be honest. Rerolls are really good. These days. I mean, they were always good, but now they're super good, right? That you can use multiple in a turn. Okay, so maybe maybe I'm a bit more tired and I've calmed down on the old rocks burning here, but um, this has been a bit easy, hasn't it, really? Like, he didn't field the ogre first half, second half, he just didn't have many players. And uh, there wasn't a whole lot to do. No, he hasn't really done anything wrong in the second half, he's just, he's just had no players and had no good choices, has he? But then I guess I put my guys in places that make it hard for him to have good choices. Should have uh, probably tried to get the white in range, shouldn't I? Should have maybe thought more about trying to get this white forward. Underexplained orcs, yeah, just smash people. Orcs are really good, aren't they? The problem is, is like, it just makes for kind of more boring streams, doesn't it? I think. <sighs> oh well. He beats him off to no avail. I like how he's losing 1-0, but like, must battle to not lose 2-0. It's funny how like people think like that. Like, you know, I think like that too sometimes. It's pretty funny that it's a thing that people do. Well, he's on 3, right? Oh, yeah, I'm going to give it the guy on 3. Could have made a bowl box here, it would have been better, right? Yeah, I didn't need it. So a bubble box would have meant like putting this guy here and this guy here, something like this, before I handed it off. And then um, if the ball went to this square, he could fail the catch and it could bounce back to him. So like it's only adding, you know, tiny percentages, but it would have uh, it would have increased it by a tiny percent, right? So there's no reason not to do it. Like making something at three dice instead of a two dice, the, the tiny amount it adds is definitely worth it. Um, so there you go. Um, two nil win, glorious. I just you know cast the shit out of things with mummies is pretty good. This guy's on eight, so he can be on block pretty soon. And uh, this one's on six, so we can just choose block now. So I've at least got a block, block ghoul. And then um, the next one of these two skills will also just choose block, and then we'll start randoming the, the third ghoul. This guy will get a dirty player. Um, with 95k, can get rid of this shadowing guy and replace, replace him. Go there's the team twelve hundred, and it looks all right, doesn't it? 
Um, right. Well, the fourth goal is just going to random, just going to random general. So you know, dirty player, wrestle, tackle, block are all hits. Fend isn't terrible. Kick isn't terrible, and then they can random again if they get a kick or fend or tackle. Kick, fend, or tackle, they can random again. But block, wrestle, dirty player, they're very happy. Um, so there you go. Right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.